guys welcome back to my channel my good name is Cecilia and uh, today I want us to learn and before we learn I want to thank each and everyone who has been able to subscribe to my channel even though I have been quiet for some time so thank you very much and welcome to this channel in this channel you are going to have a lot to learn and you are going to enjoy the journey with us so today I want us to learn about grid reference system. Now, I have chosen this topic because, first of all, uh, we have students who are taking geography here in Kenya. I know you are waiting for your KCSE uh, papers, so and you need to prepare and prepare well. So I want I want us to learn what is this grid reference because I know with the paper one geography you are required either to have a map work map reading map answering of a question and normally it is question number six section b so today i want us to learn how how to read these grid reference i will not be very much specific on the four grid system and the six grid system but today i want us to learn the grid reference system what is it what is this grid that you are talking about so the grid system or rather the grid, the grid is uh, all about the lines, the lines, it is a network of lines that run horizontal and vertical in a topographical map and they make a perfect square. So you need to get this, that the horizontal and the vertical lines that I'm talking about, they're the ones that make this square and remember that it is out of that square that you are going to make a reference of either a region you are locating either a feature that you have been told to to locate from a map so therefore you need to get the grid reference right now so as we begin the horizontal lines they are referred to as the the horizontal ones here we have the horizontal ones I had to go back to the to the map since uh, I have not told you that uh, with me I have um, a Taita Hills map that we're going to use for reference. So let me begin with the horizontal lines, which actually runs from west to east. So we have the horizontal lines, these ones, these lines. We have these lines. So they are running from the west to east. And we refer to these lines as nothings. Now, why nothings? Why nothings and not the easting? Because in this case, we are seeing that they are coming all the way from the west to, to east. Why is it that they are referred to as nothings? Now, this is the reason that we have them being numbered upwards. They are numbered upwards so you can see from the map we have them being numbered from 14 15 16 17 18 19 all the way to 31 so this is uh, according to this uh, map maybe others might start even from 9 so with this case you find that this one is starting for from 14 to 31 now, those are the nothings, and that is the reason why they are referred to as the nothing, because they are numbered upwards. Again, the other lines, we have said that they are vertical lines. They are vertical lines. And these lines are the ones that run from south to north. Let me say that it is south from north, but of course it is upwards, or they go from, from downwards to upwards. So we have them, these ones, they move that way. We have them going upwards. They are going upwards. They are going upwards. So these lines are referred to as the eastings. They are referred to as the eastings. This is the reason. Now, them being known as the eastings, they are numbered eastwardly they are numbered eastwardly so we have like from this map we have from 20 all the way to 41 now those are the 
eastings. Remember, I have told you that we have the northings which are going upwards, and then we have the eastings which are going eastwards. And remember, their direction might, uh, might be a bit confusing to students. Remember that that is uh, the main reason why they are referred to as the nothing. Just take note of the numbers, how these grid lines are numbered. Now, the other thing that uh, I want to tell you as a student is that when you get a question on uh, how on locating either a feature or you are locating a region that you are supposed to maybe to get a cross section or you are supposed to enlarge the area or to reduce the area then you need to note the fact that the grid they normally read from east then the northing therefore this is what i mean that when you are reading you find a number given a number is given, then we are saying that that number that has been given as a great reference, great reference, sorry, we have it starting the first two numbers or the first three digits that you have there, then they are the eastings. So you need to read the, the eastings being the, the first. Then you go to the nothing. Now the nothings are these lines, the horizontal lines. So first of all, you read the easting, then the northing follows. So that is how you are able to get the grid reference. Now, I, I don't have much for today. I know you have learned something and I, we shall continue learning from here. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for listening to me. Remember to like my video, to subscribe, to tell others that it's easy. You share with other students, you share with your friends. Remember that when you share your knowledge, that is when you gain. When you give, that is when you get. So, thank you.